Hello and welcome to our channel. We are Aramis and Emily, a UK-based couple with a love of the outdoors. Last year we bought an old van with plans to convert her into our own little haven on wheels. Fast forward a few months and this is where we're at. If you're new here, make sure to go back and check out the progress so far. Last week, you saw us pretty much finishing the underseal, and boy, was that a job. Oh my god, why a transit, they say. Coming up this week... Good morning. Morning. We have three days to prep this for Amorti. So last weekend, we started to put underbody seal. We pretty much covered all underbody. Though we still got the tiny bit at the back where the spare wheel sits. I'm just gonna quickly finish that and then we have quite a lot of things to do. We need to finish this kitchen. Yeah, we didn't make any changes to that last time. We literally spent like eight and a half hours underneath the van. We need to sort these patches. We have actual colored match paint. Then we need to sort all this mess and put the seal back in. It needs a really good dust off. Everything yeah. is covered in dust, spider webs. And We're coming up to nearly a year of this being here. Well, so better off just crack on. So, my first job of the day, whilst Aramis tackles the underseal, is to prime all of the bare wood ready for painting. This job was tricky. Although we have a lot of space in the van, all things considered, it was really awkward getting to all the areas with primer. And I knew I'd have to do it all again with the colour too. Pray for my back. So I've been cleaning the last bit underneath and it's a very dirty job. But it's pretty much clean now. I'm just gonna put some rust converter now and that should be ready to put that coat of paint. It looks like I've done literally nothing in two hours. I don't know how it's taken me this long, but it has. But all I'm saying is if there's a way where you can paint outside of your van rather than install it or screw it all in and then paint it, do that because I have been in some weird old positions trying to get the paint in all the right places. So I could probably start painting over the first sections that I've done because that seems like it was quite some time ago now. So I'm gonna start with the green. Now was colour time. I slapped on the first coat of paint in the hope it would dry quickly, ready for another coat. Uh, so while she's been doing that, I've finished painting underbody. Let's have a look. Right. It's painted and also sealed with underbody seal. Hopefully, we won't need to get back there. Anytime soon, we can say that. Painting and under sealing, under body, done. On to the next one. So I primed this wheel arch. I'm just gonna give a quick sand and probably gonna put a layer of paint. with how that's come out there is a few imperfections if you look really closely but i've never used body filler before so i'll take that as a win that's good that's good um we're gonna do a quick tutorial finally in case she gets stranded someone on the side of the road when she needs a spare wheel <laughs> they are very back, heavy i'm just gonna get squashed by it then so, i'll need rescuing as well as the van uh, i'm gonna show you a process how to put on uh, take it out gonna go other way around when you get underneath there, you need to put this in the center hole. Okay. Front face needs to underneath. sit to the bottom. Yeah. I never would be able to do this on my own. The tires are too heavy. You need to feed this through that. So oh my goodness, there's no way. Someone, if someone would assist you, would be very handy. Yeah. Yes, a bit more. Yeah. Then that goes through one of the holes and screws Yeah, in. you just made that in the hole. Other end is... It's a crowbar. It needs to go in that hole and there's like... You can feel it when you kind of get in. And now you just... After struggling with the spare wheel, I finally managed to wind it back into place and we left the day there. We knew we had another busy day ahead, so a little rest was needed. Just like that. Never gonna do that on my own. 
Good morning again. It's another beautiful day and we have a big task. Operation Clean the Van. <laughs> We gave a quick wash. It was quick, but not quick. She actually looks red now and not grey. Next big job is gonna be. Oh, the bit that I'm gonna hate. I am getting an Uber on that and sucking up every spider that might possibly be living in there, and I can yeah. guarantee you there's gonna be a few. There is definitely one. And if I get a spider on me, you're on your own, mate. I am not carrying on. <laughs> no, thank you. We took her back into the workshop to make a start on cleaning the interior. It was gross. First task, dig out the passenger seat and give it a good clean. As you can oh, see, the seat is in the side. That has been there for at least nine months. And it's covered in all the crap and... I need to get the hoover on all of this. Lord knows when that was last looked at with a hoover. We have really just made ourselves at home in a bad way. The spiders in here are on steroids. They are some big boy spiders. The yeah. thing is, I don't even remember where is the bolts for the seat. Great. My plan is to transform this seat. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Don't do this. Don't. Yeah, this is not how you properly move a two-seater chair. <laughs> oh my God. Look at the state of that. It's stained. Now that's either water from the roof or an animal's been making itself at home here, which is excellent. Because guess whose seat this is? That is disgusting. That will come off. Let's get cracking, right? Let's get to the time. <laughs> Now time for the cab. Not only was it grubby when we bought it, but it's collected dust, dirt and unwanted tenants for nearly a year. It was time to sort that out. Mid-clean, we did find a few tiny patches of surface rust. With steps already off, we quickly treated it with hammerite to prevent it from getting worse. We did get some outdoor doormat material. When we came to put it where we want it, it's pretty much the perfect fit. And we got it for free and it's absolutely perfect. And we're gonna have enough of an offcut just to fill that corner in. Maybe not everybody's taste, but I just thought having this kind of mat here is just useful for when you just need to get a little bit of wet off your shoes or whatever. So I'm happy with that. Are you? Yeah. Cool. After all day of cleaning, she is clean. She is so unbelievably clean. She's so clean that we can't even get in inside right, because we just make a mess. Right. Outside, we haven't paid too much of attention because we still need to do quite a lot of sanding on the body and stuff like that and the um, bumper needs sorting as well but she's not as grubby as it was today we got only a few last jobs on the body work these couple patches to sand and paint uh, and it's pretty much clean now ready for next weekend Next weekend we got MOT booked in. So, with the plans decided, it was time to tie up some loose ends. Aramis sanded the last few body filler patches and I made an attempt to clean and polish the headlights. Frustratingly, we had another power cut. We needed power tools for the next few jobs, so we had to rethink our plans. We really had made quite the mess in the workshop. We had spread ourselves all over the place. So we used this time to sort through materials and have a tidy up. This took us a good few hours and the day was done. As annoying as the power cut was, we made it so much easier to find things that we had buried over the last few months. It's a very special day for Flossie today. Well, technically not today. Not today, yeah. So. She is going to Van Hospital and she is going to come out like a new woman. Uh, we need to do a couple of things. We need to check the wheels, check the fluid levels. Uh, make sure she's good to go.
This is Sandy. She's our little buddy when we're up on the van. She comes up and says hello all the time. Hello everyone, hello everyone. So, she made her first voyage in nearly a year to the garage, her final resting place before her MOT. We left her overnight and eagerly waited for the MOT results. Will she pass or will she fail? Come back next week to find out if we have more work to do or if the old girl sailed through. Please wish us luck. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Please click the subscribe button to follow along on our journey. Don't forget to hit that like button too. It really helps us out. See you next time. Bye.